DJ Demers is here. He's a comedian. How you doing, buddy? Good. I can't stop thinking about that Bacardi Fuego now. Yeah, uh, sounds delicious. It, it is delicious. Uh, and, and thank you for for the extra plug at DJ Demers. Uh, <laughs> go and follow him. DJ Demers Comedy. Um, dot com is where, where his website is. Uh, DJ is a wonderful, a wonderful individual. I got to meet him about last year, you know, a little less, I guess, uh, about 10, 11 months ago. Um, you're at the comedy store. Comedy bar. Comedy bar. Yeah. You're at the comedy bar here. And uh, my my friend, uh, NHL hockey player, played in the minors this league, uh, this year, sorry, um, for the Hartford Wolfpack. Mike Koska says, you need to see this comedian live. He's phenomenal. And we went down, we met him as a good guy, watched him do stand-up, and wow, has he overcome a ton. Uh, you, 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 are, 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 you're deaf? Yeah, I mean, hearing impaired, I guess. I wear hearing aids, I can hear with them on, so I think deaf people, real deaf people would not like it if I called myself deaf, but uh, I, I, of hearing. You know, I'm, I, it's funny you say that, you know, I shouldn't say funny, but you bring that up, and I was reading some articles that there was some controversy where, where people were upset that DJ Demers was calling him like uh, one of the first, you know, deaf comedians out there. And they're saying, well, he's not truly deaf, but hearing impaired, is that what we have to say? Is that what's politically correct? Even hearing impaired, I'm supposed to not say. Hard of hearing is uh, the term, but that's a dumb term. Uh, hearing impaired is what I say. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I didn't even know there was any controversy. I got to find these people and... Uh yeah, Give them a good talking are, to. And, and then you just recently won some, like, uh, you, you just got, like, uh, some accolades. Yeah, yeah, an organization in the U.S. called Hear Strong. Um, I, they recognized me for being a, a dude with a hearing impairment who is still doing cool stuff, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. I don't like to, like, position myself as, like, um, you know, a motivational speaker type guy. I just love telling jokes. Some of them happen to be about my hearing age because a lot of funny shit happens to me because I can't hear. Actually, just yesterday, uh, a lot of times if somebody comes up to me on the street and, and they ask me a question, I'll, I'll say pardon once, and then if I don't hear the second time, I'll just say no, because I, I'd rather, if I say no, that they find out I didn't know what I was talking about after, and they're like, oh, the answer was actually yes, and they feel good, as opposed to if I say yes, and then they find out I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. So this woman asked me a question. I said, pardon. She asked it again. I still didn't hear, and I said no, and her face just dropped, and she turned around and ran away as fast as she could. And I still have no idea what the hell I said no to, but she was <laughs> terrified of whatever I said no to. So. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, no, I, uh, I appreciate all these things. People say, no, yeah, it's, it's cool that you're able to do comedy despite your hearing impairment. But, you know, at the same time, like, I'm not going to say it's not a big deal, but it's not like I wake up every morning and I'm like, oh, Look at how amazing it is that I'm doing all these wonderful things, you know. Yeah, well, that's nice. I mean, you don't need, need the attention on you, and you definitely don't want people just to know you because of this hearing impairment or hard of hearing, whatever you want to say. You just want them to know you for being a great comedian, I would imagine, right? Yeah, exactly. That being said, I mean, like I said, a lot of funny shit does happen because I can't hear uh, as well as other Give me an people, example so. of something really funny that might happen. Uh <sighs> I mean, I'm going to try to give you an example without dipping into my material here. and being No, one dip of those in your jackasses. material. No, do that. Dip in your material. Yeah. Um, That's okay. We set up all comedians all the time with questions that dips into their material. Yeah, well, like, uh, <laughs> often this is, I mean, this is not This is kind of disgusting, actually, but one advantage is that whenever I'm, like, in a public bathroom and somebody's taking a really noisy shit beside me, turn off the hearing aid and I'm good to go. <laughs> so in that sense, you guys have the disability. Except you I'm could. living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so DJ, you, how long have you been a comedian for? Uh, about six years now. Yeah, so I'm still pretty much a baby in stand-up years. Uh, Jay Leno once said, I think, that you had to be doing it like 10 years to really be funny or something. So I got another four years before I'm actually funny. So <laughs> just playing with house money right now, you know? <laughs> Do you feel like you are improving all year? You oh, know, for year? sure, yeah. I get, I get better every night I'm out there, but um, I mean, I love it. I, I don't know what the hell I'd do if I wasn't doing comedy, so... It's beautiful. Just performed at Field Trip this past weekend, uh, the music festival that was here in Fort York. Oh, cool. Yes, yeah, so that was cool. They had comedy there for the first time, and I thought it would be a gong show. I thought nobody would give a shit, but it was packed. People were there watching, and then, you know, I got to watch My Morning Jacket rip it up after I performed, so beautiful weekend. Do you love doing all the different sort of venues now and traveling around? Do you, do you travel amongst Canada yeah, a yeah. lot? Yeah, I travel a lot. Uh, Canada, I go down to LA, um, New York a little bit. Um, I was just in Minneapolis, so don't mean to brag. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, but, the uh, one thing you won't brag about, and you did it, man, you were on Conan O'Brien. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell us, DJ Demers, uh, uh, <laughs> that experience, I would imagine, was, uh, I, I, listen, uh, I would imagine one of the best of your life. Oh, yeah, for sure. It was amazing. It was a dream. Um, 
I mean, second to this, of course. Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay. Todd Shapiro, Conan, a distant <laughs> second. Um, but no, it was amazing. I brought my mom down to watch, so that was amazing just to watch how happy she was for me too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I love Conan O'Brien. Like uh, everything he's ever done, writing on The Simpsons, his own show, of course. I feel like so much of my sense of humor is actually kind of based on his sense of humor. So after my set, he came up and invited me over to the couch and during the commercial break, just kept telling me like how much he loved my stuff. And I don't think he was just being nice. He didn't have to say it. But um, yeah, so like just hearing Conan O'Brien tell me like, oh, you're really funny. was like, I mean, I, you know, I could, it was a dream. Yeah, it'd be like yeah. uh, Gretzky Crosby saying, hey, kid, you're going to be a good hockey player one day. You know, that type of thing. What, exactly. a, what, a, what an amazing, amazing accomplishment for you. Congratulations. Jay, it looked like you had a question. Yeah, I always wondered, your set, when you go up to a night, like a late night show, do they edit it at all? Does it stay like, do you do five minutes there and it's a full five minutes? Do you go longer and they play less? How does it work? Well, I was supposed to do five. I ended up doing like six and a half, yeah. but they played the whole thing. But then when they put it on YouTube, they cut out like uh, the first minute and a half. Oh, oh but yeah. they played it live on the show. Yeah, they yeah, they played the whole thing on the show. But then on YouTube, they can't make it over five minutes for some reason. So they, they cut it down. Oh, isn't that interesting? And, yeah. And, and do you, like, uh, I'm looking at the YouTube video now. Do you, do you have, uh, yeah, not, like, almost a million hits on this thing? Like, yeah. It's fucking, like, how, how crazy is that for you? Yeah, it's crazy. And then I did a AMA on Reddit after that was like top of Reddit. People were really in, like, like I said, I don't really think about my hearing aids a whole lot. I don't try to make them a big deal. Obviously, I joke about them, but uh, but the fact that I was, you know, a, a comedian with hearing aids was like, you know, a novel thing. So people really seem to enjoy it. Are so, you a yeah. faster typer? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, faster <laughs> typer, bigger dick, all the stereotypes <laughs> you hear about. Hey, I'm Jay Brody. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment. We read the best ones on the air. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.